Oh, hello friends, Tegman Pat here. Today I'm here in an unofficial capacity. TP-Link sent me this, the AX3000, but to keep, I don't have to do a review, I don't have to do a video, so I'm going to just set it up because for once I get to upgrade my entire home system. You might actually be surprised that I haven't been upgrading my Wi-Fi system for years and really the only time I set up new things is when I need to go test and generally speaking I have to send it back unfortunately. So all my testing equipment is in one room but the rest of the house well it's finally getting an upgrade. So let's start off with uh, maybe a little bit about the system here, but we're just gonna travel around the house and deploy three of these Wi-Fi 6 mesh systems from TP-Link. So big thanks to them for sending this across for me. And of course, make sure to like and subscribe to see more content like this. Let's roll the intro. What I tend to like to do is actually set everything up on my desk before I take this out to the areas where I actually need to set it up. So, you know, there's three of them. You don't want to be walking around and doing that. Let's unbox it and see what we have. These are the AX3000 Deco X50. So they're not the top of the range. They're kind of mid range. And this is probably my recommendations for any sort of medium to large size home that doesn't want to spend a lot of money. According to JB Hi-Fi, this is 399 Australian dollars and there's three of them compared to when you buy one router, it ends up being like nearly thousand dollars when you want to get a really, really expensive one. So it's really kind of, I suppose, a better option when you want to get Wi-Fi across the entire house. And honestly, it's so simple to set up. We've got our three devices and they're actually quite small. I'm kind of surprised. I thought they'd be maybe a little bit bigger. So we've got three ports on the back. We've got a PowerPoint and they're all gigabit ports, which is lovely. On top, we've got a pretty nifty design that honestly will get some dust on it. I absolute guarantee. Oh, we do get a nice thin ethernet cable. And do we get three of these ethernet cables or just one? Nope, we only just get one. Here's what we're going to do. I have this. This is a five port gigabit desktop switch and I got it off Amazon for $13 on sale and you know what? I recommend always having one of these when you're fiddling around with networking. It's just a nice way to split off a cable and get pretty much high speeds. Now with these three decos, we need to plug them in. So how are we going to do that? Well, let me tell you about, I don't know if you'd call it a sponsor, but let me tell you about this Belkin product right now. Was this a giveaway? Belkin surge protectors? Yes, actually, because you know what? I think giveaways are a little bit underrated. And you know what I think you need is an amazing surge protector from Belkin. So big thanks to Belkin for sending a couple of these. I'm gonna give this away on the Discord channel. So check the links below, get in there, and you'll have all the information you need on how you can get one of these three. Now, I'm going to open one of those boxes, so bear with me, but if you get the one that's opened, you might get a little surprise inside also. A little bit of extra, bit of a sorry, I had to open the box and show you guys the actual plugs. Now, why is this important? Well, depending on the type, you get a connected equipment warranty of up to 40,000, 50,000, and 70,000. Each one has a different level of surge protection. We've got 900 joules of protection. This one's 650 and this one's 525. What's really great about them, not only are they a little bit bulkier and stronger than others, we've got two USB-C plugs on the bottom and a very durable two meter cable on each and every one of them. Those USB ports are 30 watts, which means it's fast charging. Now on the inside, we have some MOVs, which absorb damaging excess energy and release it as heat. There's a three line hot neutral ground AC protection. There's over temperature protection, obviously over current, overload, over voltage, short circuit protection, clamping voltage protection, and Belkin has tested these for up to 850 degrees in a glow wire test. So folks, check the links below and I'll send you one of these as a fun little thing. So big thanks to Belkin for organizing these for me to send out. So 
Yes, we're gonna give away these three. One of them I will open, so you're gonna get an open box because I need to plug it in, and we need to plug in like four things, so this is gonna be absolutely perfect. And I'll be very gentle with this, guys, because whoever gets this one, well, you'll know that at least it works, right? It's been thoroughly tested. Look at that, that's actually really solid. Wow, let's put the reset button here. We've got two USB-Cs and we've got four plugs and that's a really thick boy. Wow, okay. <laughs> let's get this powered up. All right, first we're gonna power this up. So we'll put a cable in so we know it's coming from one. The blue cable is over here. That's... So let's get the first deco up. This will be our main deco, the one that has the actual internet. And of course, it means that all the setup has to happen first with this one. That's what you wanna do. You wanna set up one before you start setting up any of the other ones. Because after that, they're actually really simple. You just plug them into power and they actually recognize themselves that they're on this network and they recognize that they're gonna to connect to this one right here. So we're gonna download, well actually, I mean download. I already have the Deco app, so we can go to it and press the plus button and start adding it in. Okay, so we're gonna go plus. Add a deco unit. Actually, we're gonna create a new. See, I already have one old deco sitting around. Let's just scan it. Open camera and scan. Set up this deco, plug it all in. Ready for setup, it's pulsing blue. Very good, looking for the deco. Oh, connected to deco. Okay, so this is the first one. I'm gonna put this in the same place as I put my old ones, which is actually in the cupboard in the living room. So I'm gonna call this the living room one. One of these will go in the hallway, the other one is gonna go in the entryway that has a couch. <laughs> okay, let's name this. Let's go, let's go, uh, what do I call this? We're gonna call this what I always call it. Which... Okay, so <laughs> I have a lot of networks because obviously testing different devices. At some point, I need to swap over every single Wi-Fi device in the house to work with the new mesh system, which is actually probably one of the most painful things to do. Plug in the other ones. They'll be automatically added to the network. So we've got three decos. It can do up to 600 meters squared. That is massive. That's probably a, what does it say here? Four to six bedroom house. Yep, that, that sounds about right, four to six. This has got massive coverage. And apparently the speeds are up to three gigabits a second, but we might have to do a test speed test in a moment. So we'll go plus, add a deco unit to the current network. Yes, it's a one single floor. Oh, actually, no, that one's already done. Look, that's already green. Does that mean it's, there's two? Oh, there is. Look at that. Let's make that one the hallway. So remember everyone, hallway is this one. Yes, oh, look at that, it's there. That didn't, that didn't take too long, but I was getting worried just for a second. This one is gonna go theater. So I'm actually gonna type it in myself for once. Yes, you can put your own name in there. All right, so main one is here. We've got the theater one here, and then we've got the hallway here. They're all connected now. Let's go set it up and then do some speed testing. So in this cupboard is all the Wi-Fi. The old Wi-Fi is Macusis. Now it's, funnily enough, it's actually a TP-Link brand. Please ignore all the other cables. This Macusis was one of the most affordable Wi-Fi 6 devices. And many, many years ago, it was really, really good. So what we're gonna do is swap this out with a Deco. And what I've actually gone ahead and done is renamed this Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi 6 Old. And then I'm gonna go in and change this to Patar Mesh 6. G because what I'm gonna run into is that all the devices that have actually been connected to this are gonna have to get reconnected to another Wi-Fi. But I think if I name this exactly the same with the same password, the same SSID, it might actually just automate the whole thing and I won't have to change any of the devices. Let's see if it works this time. So say goodbye to the plugs and say goodbye to the power. Goodbye. Phew. That's powered on. And then, you know what? We don't need this cable because I have my own right here. And I don't know which one's internet and which one's not. So we'll just have to play it by ear. And the light is yellow, so it's gonna start connecting. Right, now we're in the theater area, as in there's a TV and there's a couch. Um, and behind here is a Macusis. 
And again, as you can see, because it's white, it gets really dusty. This is the one that's gonna get replaced over here, and that's the theater deco, and it's gonna hide right behind the TV. Now, I'm going to tell you a little secret that if you've read the instructions, it does say not to put it near big electronics like TVs and in between like books and stuff. But the reality is nobody's gonna follow that. And you know what? I think it's okay. You could pop it out here. It looks nice enough to have as a stand over here. So it's gonna sit right here and it's done. Hello, this is actually the uh, heart of the operation. I can imagine this is a cupboard that everybody else has. Maybe some people who are into their networking would be like, oh, it's fancy and all that cool stuff. But honestly, uh, I don't know, it's not, uh, I'm not too bothered. It has everything I need. The modems in here, another splitter. There's another deco and device in here, a very old one, but that's giving internet to some really old devices. So I've kept it in there and it's gonna take the place of this Macusis. So this Macusis only has one plug here and it's just providing internet for something, I think. I actually don't know what it's doing. I don't know if I need it. There you have it. This is set up to the deco. Now, uh, let's wait for them to all set up and let's do a speed test. Okay, we're back where we started and now we're gonna do a speed test. The deco system is set up across the house. I have a Wi-Fi 6 enabled computer here. I know it's stationary, but it's got a Wi-Fi 6 card in it. So it's a really nice and easy way to test. What I'm gonna do is grab my 2.5 gig adapter to ethernet, connect the laptop and set up the server here for the speed test. And we're gonna see what happens with a round trip through the mesh into the 2.5 gig adapter. We should get a really nice chunky speed. Ah, there we go. 500, 600 and it's working. Now, is this a really good buy? Yes, make sure you only have one network running around. So big thanks to TP-Link for sending this for me. I'm so happy. And big thanks to Belkin for basically letting me send out a few of these at my cost. They just sent them to me and I'll post them out to you guys. So check the links below on how to win it. It all starts in Discord, so make sure to get connected into there. It's really easy to do a giveaway on Discord these days. There's apps for that. Check the links below for the TP-Link 5 port gigabit, the TP-Link AX3000 X50 mesh system right here. Of course, the Belkin over there. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you all in another one. Bye.